Hi everyone, say hello Tato. Hi, welcome to today's lesson. I am Teacher Simpure and you are? Tato. Tato. Guys, we are starting a new series called Move Forward. Now I'm sure you're asking yourselves, what is move forward? Well, we are saying move forward with faith, move forward with love, and move forward with hope. So today we are going to be doing a very, very beautiful Bible story about Peter and Jesus walking on water. So come with us and let us do the Bible story together. Are you ready to do the Bible story, Tato? Yeah! Yeah, Tato is ready. Let us do our Bible story. Okay, so this is Peter, right? Tato, who's this? Peter. Peter. So Peter was in the boat as well with Jesus. So I am going to tell the story. So it had been a very long day. Jesus and his disciples, how many disciples did Jesus have? Twelve. Twelve, well done, Tato, had been out teaching about God and performing miracles. Many people followed them and spent the rest of the day teaching and feeding how many people? How many people did Jesus feed again? Five? Five thousand? Is that right? I think so. You think so? <laughs> well, that is the right answer. When the day was over and the crowd was leaving, Jesus told the disciples to go and find a boat. So this is what Jesus said. He said, go and find a boat and go back to the other side of the lake water you know water yes and then they need to go back on the other side when everyone left jesus went up to the mountainside by himself to pray so jesus went and prayed right you see jesus needs to pray too do you know that that jesus had to pray as well you know right well done he had a long tiring day and performing miracles so he was very tired he knew you he had to be close to his heavenly father who's jesus father again god well done high five yes that is the answer um so jesus had to go and pray so he went and he spent time with his father. When Jesus had finished praying, it was early in the morning. So let's say around two in the morning, maybe, or four in the morning. So Jesus decided to say, you know what? I'm done praying. I'm now leaving. So he came to the shore where the disciples had left some time earlier. He had seen the boat, but it was very quiet and it was very far away. So the wind had taken them far across. So the disciples, remember, Jesus said, go, I'll get you on the other side. I am going to pray, right? So they went into a boat. You know what a boat is, right? Yeah. So they went into a boat. So can you imagine while Jesus was done praying, they were in a boat, right? Jesus knew that he had to get to the other side of the lake to join the disciples. Do you know what Jesus did? Do you think he, he decided to swim? What, what do you think he did? He called the Uber, ne? Yeah. <laughs> so Jesus called the Uber boat. That sounds very nice. But no, he did not do that. Let me tell you what he did. I'm sure he wouldn't swim or he didn't fly or jump across the lake. This is Jesus we are talking about. So what he did is he decided to walk on water. Yeah. Jesus decided to walk on water. Like... No. No one can, but Jesus can. Remember, we're talking about Jesus now. Jesus was the guy. So he decided to walk on water. So let's continue. So Jesus, while he's walking on water, so Jesus walked and walked. Finally, he was close enough to the disciples. So he walked until he found the boat that he was looking for and his disciples were there. So all of a sudden, one of the disciples said, what is that? So can you imagine you're in a boat and you see a man walking on water? and it's dark, and it's windy, how would you feel? You're going to feel nice. No. Are you going to feel scared? Yes. Are you, what are you going to say? Ah. No. What are you going to say? I'm going to pray. 
You're going to pray. Well done. That's the best answer ever. You're going to pray. So let me tell you, all of a sudden, one of the disciples said, what is that? And they were like, oh. So he pointed out into the water and all the disciples turned around and saw what that person. So one of the disciples says, what is that? And everyone looked and they were like, ah, and they said, I think it's a ghost. <gasps> Would you think it's a ghost as well? No. I would. I mean. It's in the middle of nowhere. What else could it be? Excuse me. A few of the disciples said they were terrified. They had all come to one side of the boat to see this strange thing. So they decided to say, you know what? Let's go and check what this thing is, right? But the boat suddenly got tippy and some of the disciples fell back. So then because there was a wind, the boat was like... So some of the disciples like fell back. So Jesus could see and hear the confusion. He shook his head and called out, it's all right, I am here. So Jesus said, you know what guys, it's me, I am here. Do not be afraid. This is what Jesus said to the disciples. So after hearing Jesus' voice, what would you do? I'd be surprised. You'd be surprised? Okay, yeah, because you're not sure, Mosne. You just think it's just a ghost. The disciples looked at each other and felt silly. They had thought their teacher was a ghost. Then Peter replied, so this is Peter, right? Remember Peter? Then Peter replied, and this is Jesus. And then Peter said, this is what Peter said, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you. So Peter said that. So Peter was here at the boat. He was like in here. So then Peter says, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you. And what do you think Jesus would say if you say, if it's really you, come? Jesus said, come. Come with his hand reaching out. So Jesus was like, come, I'm waiting for you. Come. Are you going to give me your hand if I was Jesus? Give me your hand. Okay, there you go. Jesus said, come. And he reached us. The disciples watched as Peter carefully got out of the boat and began to walk on water. So Peter went out of the boat and he started walking on water. And as Peter walks on water, walks on water, the wind became stronger. Yeah, the wind became stronger. And it was, and things were falling and, and there was a lot of wind. And Peter was scared, so he lost focus. Remember, Jesus was like, come, I'm waiting for you. So Peter lost focus and looked at something else. And guess what happened to Peter? He drowned. Yeah. He drowned, but he didn't drown forever. I can see your face now. You're thinking he drowned. No, he did not drown forever. But he drowned for like a couple of seconds. And then Jesus pulled him up. Do you know why you think, what what do you think helped Peter from not drowning Jesus do you think if Peter had enough faith in Jesus he wouldn't have drowned if Peter had enough faith he wouldn't have drowned so this is the story about uh, today as soon as Jesus got into the boat the wind stopped and the water was calm then everyone in the boat worshipped Jesus saying truly you are the son of God. Imagine after all of that. So the only thing Peter needed to do was have focus. And what's the other word? Faith. Yeah. Faith, right? Yeah. He had to have focus and faith. Focus and faith in Jesus. I like your answer. So let us do today's scripture. Today's scripture is, say Galatians, Galatians 3, 3, verse 25. Verse 25. Say, by faith, by faith in, Christ, in Christ, you are, you are in direct, in direct in the relationship, uh, relationship, relationship with, God. with God. Let's do it again. Say, by faith, by faith in, Christ, in Christ, you, you are, are in direct relationship with God. So you see, 
Jesus came here on earth just so that we can have a beautiful relationship with God. And do you know that faith is knowing what we believe and living it out? That is faith, knowing what we believe and living it out. So let us do one more exercise. Say, I believe God made the world. I believe God made the world. Good. Say, I believe God loves all people. I believe God loves all people. Say, I believe Jesus died for me. I believe Jesus died for me. Say, I believe the Bible is the truth. I believe the Bible is the truth. Say, I believe the Holy Spirit helps me. I believe the Holy Spirit helps me. Well done. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you have learned something today. And please continue to subscribe to our channel. And please join us again next week for another beautiful, awesome lesson. Where we find it, here on our page, Move Forward. Bye! Bye!